Today I'm making guacamole with fruit on the inside. Yeah, you heard that right. Let's get cooking. All right, first I have five avocados. Now my trick is I always get one extra avocado more than I think I need, just in case we have one that is not nice on the inside. Let's hope this is good. Bam, perfect avocado. All right, so now let's scoop our avocado in to our bowl. Let's get that all in there. So we're just gonna use our four or five avocados. And you always wanna be very, very careful when you are especially taking out the pit of the avocado. So I have a lot of avocado experience, but if not, please be careful. They actually make some like avocado tools you can use that you don't even have to use a knife, so there's no risk. So I'm just gonna repeat that with the rest of our avocados. All right, our avocados are in our bowl, and now immediately I like to add in not just lime juice, but lime juice and lemon juice. The combination is incredible, but before we add in the juice, I like to add in a little bit of zest. You wanna get out all the flavors and aromas you possibly can from the lemon and lime, so you may as well just do the zest as well. And the lime zest. All right, looking good. Now I'm going to add in the juice of one lime and the juice of half a lemon. Squeeze that in and half a lemon and be careful not to get in any of the seeds so you can do it over your hand as a natural filter. Next up, I'm going to add in a generous amount of salt because who doesn't love some good salty guacamole and a touch of some freshly cracked black pepper. All right, we're gonna set this aside and it's now time to get the rest of our ingredients going. Now, before we add in our fruit, which is a little bit controversial, we are going to start by chopping half of an onion. Now, you guys know, if you know me, then you know that I typically do not cut onions on camera because I don't wanna cry. But I figured today we will just be a little risky and we will cut an onion on camera. You know what, you only live once and if I cry, then you guys know it's because of the onion. So let's just now cut this into a thin dice, or small dice, not thin. Thin's not the correct word to use. <laughs> All righty, and into a dice. Straight into our guacamole, or avocados. I guess it's technically not guacamole yet. Now I'm gonna grab our two cloves of garlic. I like my guac super garlicky. If you don't like as much garlic, you can put less, you can put more. That is the beauty of cooking. You can always do however you'd like. into the bowl. Now it is time for some heat. We're gonna have the sweet mango and strawberry, but we definitely want some heat in there as well. So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of jalapeno. My little trick is I just don't add the seeds. The seeds are really what have most of the heat. So I just like to add a little bit diced up of the flesh. And my little trick also for making it not too spicy is I like to cut, cut them up really small so you don't get like a big bite. But if you wanna do chunky, you can do chunky. You know, it's your guac, not mine into the bowl. And now do not touch your eyes until you really thoroughly wash them because your eyes will literally burn off. Now it is time for the fruit. Now let's just talk about it guys. Putting fruit in your guacamole might sound a little bit crazy, but it is the perfect thing to put in your guacamole. It adds a great sweetness, a great texture. It really just takes your guacamole to a whole other level. I know it's not the most traditional thing in the whole world, especially the strawberry. And it might even make some people like turn their heads be like, What's that? But I promise you it is worth a try. So what I'm doing is I'm just doing the super fun mango technique where you score it, not cutting all the way through. Then we're going to take it and bam, pop it out just like that. Scoop this out onto our cutting board. Whoa, making a little bit of a mess out here. And then just run your knife through it to cut it a little bit smaller into the bowl. Now, our other fruit, we're going to add in some strawberries. Now, this might be the ingredient that is making you think, Eitan, what on earth are you thinking? Trust me, add it into your guac. Not only does it add a great color, but it also adds really, really, really great flavor. The sweetness is absolutely incredible. Now, you may notice there's no tomato in this guacamole. Uh, you could obviously also add tomato, whatever you'd like works, uh, but I'm telling you, give the strawberry a try. and into our bowl as well. 
And finally, the last ingredient is some chopped cilantro. In my opinion, this is the most controversial ingredient in the kitchen. Either you hate it or you love it. You either think it tastes delicious or you think it tastes like soap. Let's now add that in there as well. And that concludes the ingredients in our guac. I don't know about you, but I think this looks at looks, looks absolutely beautiful. You have all the great colors. You have the green from the avocado. You have the bright green from the cilantro. You have the red from the strawberry. You have the green, not green, yellow. I'm just getting too excited. Yellow slash orange for the mango. You have the purple from the onion. It all comes together to a delicious guac. Now, you're probably like, Eitan, what on earth are you doing with a whisk? Well, the whisk is the best way to mash up guacamole. No cap. Anyone who disagrees with me, you're wrong. Take your whisk and you're going to mash it up. The consistency is then perfectly creamy, but also a little bit chunky. If you don't believe me, just try it, and I promise you, you'll never use a spoon to mash guacamole ever again. All right, the mashing has concluded. Now I just like to take a spoon to mix that all up and give it a try to know if we need to add any more seasoning. So let's just give that a little try. It's always important to try your food while you're cooking. Mm. That's delicious. That's incredible. Super spicy, super delicious. The perfect balance of flavor. All right, we have made our guac. It is now time to quickly make some chips because, you know, we're not out here buying chips. We make chips homemade. Just take some corn tortillas. You can also use flour. I just prefer corn. Cut them into chip shapes. Now over here on my stove top, I have some vegetable oil that is heating to about 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We are now going to fry these until nice and golden brown, and then it's guac eating time. I wish you guys could smell how good this smells. We need like smell a video or something. Yeah, we, we really, come on. We gotta invent that soon. Drain and straight onto some paper towels and repeat with the rest of the chips. Also, very important, the second that the chips come out of the oil, you wanna do a little salt bay action on top of there because while the oil's still on there, it will hold in that salt. So it's very important to do it right away. Bam, that is how you make guacamole with fruit in it. Let's now grab a chip. Let's dig it into there and give it a try. Oh my God, this looks absolutely heavenly. Cheers. Mm. So good. Wow, that is packed with flavor. Do not knock it till you try it. You must put fruit in your guacamole. It just comes together into the most delicious, flavor packed, texture packed dish. You need to try it. You have the spiciness from the jalapenos, the creaminess from the avocados, the sweetness from the strawberries and mango, the zing from the red onion and the lime juice and the lemon juice. It all comes together into a delicious guacamole that is going to beat every guacamole you've ever had in your entire life. I think I'm done talking and I just need to eat the rest. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, be sure to click the big red subscribe button down below so be the first one I post new videos and join the YouTube fam and hit that like button if you enjoyed watching and comment down below what is your favorite type of guacamole. And if you have not tried fruit in your guacamole yet, you better go try it and then comment down below. Let me know how it is or send me a picture. If you haven't already, also text me 201-822-9203. I want to see pictures of you guys making fruit in guacamole. Send them to me and I will text you back probably a selfie of me eating it as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, if you want the recipes on atombernat.com, linked down below. All right, if you need me, I'm going to devour the rest of this guacamole. Bye.